This reaction recommendation comes from Sasha Muse Art. Sasha recommends the old classic by Dire Straits, Sultans of Swing. We are going back to 70s. We are going to Alchemy Life. I haven't seen this performance before. Let's go. <laughs> So this is so cool. Wow, I'm gonna grab my guitar. Uh. What I love about Mark Knopfler is his like nonchalant when he's singing. It's sort of like I don't really care about being a very chilled and very it brings you this oh almost like a little bit of drunk feeling to it. But then he balances it out with his guitar with his pristine, precise, these little syncopated licks. One, two. Yeah, if you don't know what syncopated means, it just means that it's played on the upbeat. So you have the downbeat, that's usually the uh, the heavy note that you would dance on. There's the ba, 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 do, do, do. Upbeats would be something like. Downbeat, upbeat, okay. Let's continue. Check it out, guitar, George. Now he knows all them fancy chords. He just really I'm gonna make that guitar cry and make it sing. Chromatic light. Oh, what an energy. This is exactly what I needed this morning. This is better than a uh, coffee. Uh, the energy just like lifts you up. You can notice that the drummer is speeding up in the breaks usually we teach drummer students like you shouldn't speed up like it's wrong to change your tempo you need to be, stick to your metronome music is an organic thing and it's okay to speed up at places where it feels natural speeding up is not a good thing when it's not controlled but here he plays through the fill a bit quicker but then he comes back to the original tempo and it just like bounces it makes it organic makes it alive that's what we love about live performances so this is really awesome. Uh, I'm sure you pretty know this, but Mark Knopfler is famous for playing with his fingers. He is not using a pick, so he's playing with his uh, thumb and index finger. Notice how his playing is very melodic. And there was there was this uh, chromatic line he did a little bit earlier. Let me let me come back to it. Well, ah, here, here, here. Yeah, here. Chromatic means semitones apart. 
let's keep going. With the and again, watch the drama, how he brings the energy out. Ah, no. Very melody. Dynamic coming down, wow. <laughs> oh wow, wow, wow. So much that happened there. He used like a melodic lines in the D minor scale using some triplets rhythmically like and then he throws in some kind of rhythmical little line like using the pull of and hammer-ons the dynamic change they did they, they like went down with the solo the solo brought the whole thing up peak of the performance and then they brought it down Dynamically, these contrasts, these little surprises make music interesting and alive. If you're sometimes feeling like you're playing and it's starting to be a bit boring, try to change dynamic, try to play quietly for a while and then burst to a fortissimo and, you know, these things make the listener engaged. So from that little dip, they went into these accents. Da, pa, pa. Let's keep going. By the way, these little... Uh, these are the interval of sixth. The dynamic in the play. We are the Sultans. Yeah, we are the Sultans of Sweden. That's right. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, whoa. 
guitarist watching this is really enjoyable so one thing i want to say notice how the playing is not about the scales for all the musicians all the guitarists out there it's about expressing yourself through sound it sounds obvious but a lot of guitarists get caught up in scales but what he's playing it's a simple scale it's a simple i don't know minor scale Sometimes maybe minor harmonic but what he's doing with it what articulation is is basically how you play the notes not which notes you're playing so you could notice he did like something like kind of rhythmical i don't know how he did it but kind of dancing little notes like this and then then he would go to like a long bat <laughs> you know like kind of combining these little contrasts telling a story with the solo it's not about what notes you play it's about how you play it and how you convey the feeling without judging it without trying to put yourself in the box expressing yourself on stage that's what it's all about how they brought it down beautiful another space wow third solo in the song it doesn't happen as much nowadays Taking their time.
<laughs> oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> oh, these are... Oh my god. <laughs> Good old 70s, right? <sighs> this doesn't happen anymore. Like having a 10 minute 1046 performance. And basically half of it, or even more than half of it, is guitar solo. Three guitar solos in one song. I loved the communication between them. I loved how they just opened up the space for music. Uh, Mark Knopfler was playing this little melody. Something like that. They kind of communicated with the pianist. That's another thing I love about music, this communication that goes beyond conceptual thinking. When we communicate in words, we say a word and the word is a symbol. It means something that the word is not. But music is more immediate. It doesn't mean anything on its own, but it says it all through the feeling. In current music education we forget about this. We forget about this all the time. We think that music is about scales and music is about uh, playing the right notes. And we lose touch with what is music really about. Like what the tribes in the past were using music for. It's a transcendental expression of something beyond words. So yeah, I'll just leave you with that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the recommendation to Sasha Muse Art. Please check out the description. There is a, a free PDF I created. It's about limiting beliefs that musicians tend to hold. Limiting beliefs and self-judgment can sometimes hold us from this free expression we are looking for so i created a list it's like a musician limiting belief checklist you can go through 21 of them i believe and check which ones you hold and how strongly you can also write your own down as well so download that it's free in the description thanks for watching please subscribe see you in the next video uh, please leave recommendations down below in the comments i have a whole list of them i'm going to be doing them one by one see you in the next one and as always keep it funky Whew.